If you thought even for a second that AI was losing momentum, you might have to think again. Recent news says that the US is dominating the field of artificial intelligence and yes, other countries known for innovation like China are decades behind. The effects of this as will be seen for years to come, so it's important to watch until the end to know how this can impact your daily life. But what could be the reason for this rapid development? It's not just the United States trying to use this tool to its full potential. Sources say that all of this is possible with the help of private investments, with billions and billions of dollars being invested into AI studies. More job opportunities are vacant to help innovate and revolutionize the tech industry. Universities are offering courses on artificial intelligence, while companies are hiring a workforce that specializes in it. Everything is competitive and the world is changing for better or worse. Ten countries identified as showing the strongest AI development over the recent years, the United States, China, the United Kingdom, Singapore, Canada, Israel, South Korea, Germany, Australia, and Japan. Though the UK is falling a little short in the rankings, it's mainly because of the lack of job postings and work opportunities in that particular field. This doesn't mean that it hasn't been investing the third most in artificial intelligence, though. Here's where the real numbers come in. The US has plowed through $335 billion in private investment into AI tech over the past decade. That's more than Elon Musk's net worth. In the last year alone, there has been an investment of $67.22 billion with over 5,000 startups. And what about all those reels on Instagram you've seen about software engineers not getting any jobs? Well, uh, in 2024 alone, there have been over 71,000 openings for AI. It's basically making up 1.62% of total job listings. These stats are leaving China and other rival countries in the dust. But it all begs the question, are these advancements a blessing or a curse? Let's take a deeper look. The internet has been in quite the bit of a frenzy over artificial intelligence. Artists think it's second plague to hit the world, while some scientists and researchers think that it's going to help with new discoveries in both the tech and medical field. A lot of people think that AI will replace the workforce and cause a ton of layoffs. Shouldn't they be thinking of how much a valuable tool it'll be to carry out advanced tasks? When someone thinks of the words artificial intelligence, the first thing that pops up in their mind is either ChatGPT or AI-generated images. In with missing fingers and warped faces. Believe it or not, there is a lot more than just those two things. As of 2024, the advancements of AI have reached beyond our imaginations and has significantly been impacting many sectors around the world. As data is generated, artificial intelligence and machine learning are both working overtime to analyze all of it in real time. This means they're driving optimization and enhancing decision-making processes. To put things in perspective, just think about what the computer was capable of doing back in 2010 as compared to now. Yes, that was a decade ago, but what the general population understood was that AI was simply a chatbot that could interpret your messages and help in analyzing data. It's become very clear these days what AI is, is capable of doing, and the US has bet $335 billion on it. So, uh, the proof is right in front of you. We can now control engineering where AI algorithms can predict system behavior and adjust things automatically. Deep learning is better than ever. Think of this as a subset of machine learning that uses neural networks with a bunch of layers to analyze all sorts of data. In simpler terms, imagine these tools reading like 100 textbooks at the same time and retaining all that information. China, on the other hand, have provided around $104 billion, which is less than half of what the US funded. What I mentioned earlier in this video is just the tip of the iceberg of what AI is capable of doing. So why did China and all the other countries not invest as much as the US did, if not even more? It's not like they're not doing well economically. According to Forbes, China comes in second with a GDP of $18,536 billion in GDP, while the United States stands tall with $28,783 billion. The rest of the countries fall a little shorter than expected, yet they still have the ability to invest a few billions in this ever-growing field. Did you know the United Kingdom spent just $22 billion in funding? What gives? Well, most companies prefer machine learning because of its usability and ability to optimize and enhance things like data analysis and predictive modeling. The world is changing, and this is us trying to adapt. Sure, things might seem a little slow with what the internet sees as a depiction of AI with all the weird videos and obviously fake images, but there are things that are going on in the tech world that many of us aren't even aware of. Take reinforcement learning, for example. This involves training machines and software to make decisions through trial and error. The computer learns to make decisions by interacting with an environment and receives feedback in the form of rewards and penalties. It's as if the human brain and technology are slowly becoming one with reinforcement. Learning, critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making is at an all-time high. All this growth has given people opportunities to build and build and build. 
Development is a continuous process and the numbers are there to prove it. While the US have opened up 71,000 AI-related job vacancies in 2024, China opened 21,508 with 1,446 AI startups. AI specialists over there make up to 0.64% of its workforce. The number of startups and new employees at these places add up to hundreds of thousands or even millions. The total amount invested in AI around the world has more zeros than the human mind can comprehend. In the end, it's all a competition. Countries are competing against each other because the end game is to use artificial intelligence and its tools as a weapon. It sounds scary, sure but it sounds just as interesting. Sources say that worldwide spending is predicted to reach around $632 billion by 2028. It's about to change the tech world as well as a country's economy. After all, data is everything. It basically powers the very planet you live on. Companies are rapidly adopting AI to improve efficiency and reduce costs to create innovative products and services that will cater to people around the world. What does this all mean? More demand, obviously. Cloud infrastructure is also growing just as fast. Companies like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud are leading the cloud market to support AI technology. Amazon Web Services dominate with a 33% market share, while the other two hold 20 and 10% respectively. It's becoming pretty sophisticated out there. One thing needs the other, while the other can't work without a third thing. To get into all the technicalities would need over an hour, but just know that this is all for the better. Computers, networks, processors, and systems in general are about to run at lightning fast speeds. We're at a point where Sora can take a bunch of words and can give us actual video clips based on what was asked. This is something we'd see in movies. What else do you think artificial intelligence will give to the world, and how do you think the US will use it? It's all in the hands of the leading giants, for we're just pawns with front row seats to see everything flourish before our very eyes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button to see more content. We'll see you in the next one.